hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel i feel like i haven't been on here in a good minute like coming back from cabo has been like whew, a whole roller coaster of things it came back um last week but it's just been overwhelming stuff that's been going on my trip was so good um it was really fun it was nice going alone it was actually supposed to be a sister's trip it was supposed to be um Solange the owner of Glow Addict and her sister which they both did go and my sister was supposed to go but she didn't go and so I ended up inviting a girlfriend that went like super last minute like the day before but I had been planning this for like six months and yeah I was so happy for it when it came but I don't know I'm just mixed of emotions lately I've been like so emotional before I started no, I'm not pregnant I just literally got off my period I literally got it on the trip but I just been like so emotional about like I don't know just this year has been like emotionally hard for me and I don't want to cry <laughs> I'm just taking time I don't know I'm just like all over the place with emotions and something really like tragic just happened over the weekend this past weekend um, one of our family members um, unfortunately um, passed away they committed suicide and it was just very like eye-opening life event for everybody it, ha it was from my dad's side of the family and we that happened last thursday in the morning and by thursday in the night we were driving to juarez yo and mi familia nos fuimos yo no podía ir entonces yo me llevé a los niños y me fui manejando hasta juarez me, mi mamá me acompañó en, mi, en el carro pero la señora se durmió todo el camino manejé todo lo que pude because we literally left like at 11 in the night i drove until like 3 in the morning hasta que ya no pude llegué a un rest stop me dormí como dos horas. Después me levanté, manejé otras dos horas y le dije a mi mamá, ya no puedo. I have to sleep a little bit more to manejar. So then my mom drove like a few more hours and then we switched off. Llegando como a las cruces in New Mexico. And then I drove the rest to Mexico. So we got to Mexico like 4 p.m. the next day. And yeah, it was just like, I, we just wanted to be there to support our family. Um, and it was just like a hard situation like the whole thing is just very emotional and So yeah, it's just been hard and I just got back last night Monday So we were there Friday Saturday Sunday Monday. We started driving back Sunday, but um, the In Mexico les entregan el cuerpo bien rápido. So we did the whole velorio and everything they were gonna cremate him So there wasn't an actual funeral but they did do like a, a viewing and all that stuff and we were able to go um uh, i'm gonna put this taste salud um little packet just a hydration and immunity into my water but yeah it's just it's just a bit crazy so i hadn't seen joseph i was in Kabul for four days and i came back and saw him for one day and then i i literally left the next day so i haven't really been able to see joseph and that's also been kind of hard on like our marriage in a way because we haven't been able to spend like alone time either so i feel like i'm just emotional in like all aspects of my life right now like um obviously the cobble thing was planned and like i was for it so i left my house like clean and ready to go but coming back from that like i had all my clothes like dirty and um the house was already a mess from Joseph watching the kids while I was in Cabo. And then I was trying to like get my life back on track, starting to work out one day and like cook. And the next day, you know, like life, life is just a crazy curveball sometimes. Like you don't know what's going to happen, what's going to throw at you. I don't really know the point of me making this video, but I just wanted to come on here Y pues platicar con ustedes un poco, pues no, I haven't been feeling like myself lately. I've been trying. In Mexico, it's just like a mess, you know, with everything going on. And obviously, it's understandable. But even before that, I've just been feeling like some type of way. I'm just having my girl dinner, <laughs> my girl lunch. I felt like when the kids started school in September, I was 
I was on it. Yo estaba yendo al gimnasio. I was working out three to four times a week. I was cooking. I was cleaning. I was on top of my videos. I don't know what happened in the last couple of weeks. That I just did a 360 that I am unmotivated to do anything and everything. Like, I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. I literally just got ready today. I hadn't gotten ready in one week. Like, I hadn't done my hair and makeup in, like, a week. I put on lashes because I was like, no, girl, we got to get it together. What are you doing? Like, I am here, actually, I'm proud to say that I'm finally getting help. I finally um, contacted a psychologist so I can get therapy started because I just need to work through my emotions and everything I'm feeling with someone that that doesn't know me and can give me advice without being biased because obviously I can talk to my husband or I can talk to my mom but they'll give me like oh you know it's not a big deal like blah 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 but I'm like it's a big deal to me and my feelings or whatever oh aspect of my life I'm reaching out and getting help and that takes a lot of me because I'm always the one that wants to be in control of everything and I want to like um not ever I don't really like to ask for help like that but I'm like you know I think I finally need it. Also, Emma's just been going through a lot of emotions and she's also going to be attending therapy. Um, she already started actually, so that kind of like made me realize like, you know, if I'm, I'm getting help for my daughter, then I should probably get therapy too. Like, it'll be good for me just to have someone to talk to. Therapy should never be seen as a negative thing or as a bad thing. And that's what I'm trying to teach my daughter. And if I'm trying to teach her that and I should also like take it into consideration for myself. That's why I finally reached out and and, and I, I found someone and I'm actually excited, looking forward to it. I know it's gonna be kind of like hard because they kind of like gonna like get at the root of everything and I'm like I don't know if I'm ready you know like some things I like to brush under the rug and just like go on with my day but I feel like slowly and slowly everything's just been accumulating and I'm like exploding hard for me i don't know how many times this year i came on here and like cried telling you guys how i feel but but i don't know if you guys noticed last year i didn't post any videos i didn't have time to edit my head was just like somewhere else no podía enfocarme en nada plus everything that went on like with my dad's side of the family i was just like it wasn't in my head to like film or post or edit or do nothing do tiktoks reels nothing nothing like sometimes we just need that little break to like regroup ourselves and be like okay what are we gonna do because sometimes i'm super motivated i had such exciting things coming for amores cafe and i was coming up with ideas and i was so motivated and i was doing this and that and yurita no quiero hacer nada but i was like no i have to because i already ordered everything first of all and then second of all i can't just let it take a toll on me. I need to like keep going. Ponerte las pilas, mija, y a chingarle porque la vida es corta. Um, I don't know. I just want to talk to you guys. That's why I'm here. I feel like estaba desconectada con ustedes. No había platicado con ustedes. I just been making vlogs, but no platicado así, like a sit down video. And like for me not to cook in a long time it has been like. A shocker too because I, I i enjoy cooking and i have i've just been making like chicken and rice and vegetables like almost every day and i'm like not inspired to make like yummy food but i think tomorrow i'm gonna make something yummy a ver que hago pero this is part two of my girl dinner son unos escuincles rellenos los voy a en mexico vamos a ver que tienen oh tamarindo y piña oh what happened over the weekend in the whole situation is just an eye-opener to like you don't know the battles that people are going through behind closed doors or even in their own head and it's just a reminder to just always be nice to people always treat people with kindness and respect you really don't know what they're going through because this person he always seems so happy. He was always so nice. He always looked like such a happy person. So when that happened, everyone was like, what? Like, no one ever saw it coming. 
And there was like no sign, so. It also helped me take that step also of like asking for help. Because it's just, it's good to be able to like speak out and tell someone how you're feeling and not bottle everything inside because that's what i usually do i bottle everything inside me trago todo i think also being the big sister that has a lot to do with me growing up being the big sister i, I would see a lot and i would bottle everything in so my siblings wouldn't like know and over the years it's just added like a brick on top of brick on top of brick until now the the thing is finally like Okay, you can't add any more bricks, Wendy. You're like at your final straw, so you better do something. So, also another thing is that you guys, I've been very vocal about me not wanting to have any more kids. Me and Joseph are like done having kids. Like we've already came to a conclusion that we don't want to have kids. But I'm not on birth control, and it can happen at any moment. So I was, and I told Joseph like that he he had to get a vasectomy and he was like okay I'll do it so he actually already went to the doctor made an appointment to go get a vasectomy and you guys know what they told him no voy a creer lo que le dijeron que hay una espera de más de seis meses para dar una cita para que le hagan una cita to do the vasectomy I'm like what the hell like oh yeah there's a lot of people on the wait list just to get an appointment to get an appointment for an appointment I'm like what the I'm like you gotta be kidding me. Para las mujeres, para el otro día, se los asegura que la hacen la cita. Like, it's so easy for women to go on birth control or to get their tubes tied for, for men. Why do they make it so hard? Like, my husband's more than willing to get one. And they're making it hard for him to, like, he had this uh, appointment where they told him that this was two months ago. So they're like, oh, yeah, well, there's still, like, nothing coming up. And I was like, can you give him anything in, like, California? We're freaking drive there they're like no you have to go within your like region which is southern california and i was like you guys are just making it hard and i do not want to get pregnant i was really like refusing to go on birth control because i was like i've been on birth control for so many years but then at the same time that's me being irresponsible because if i can't if i do get pregnant there's no one to blame but us ourselves you know so Ay, con una gran decisión tomé that I'm gonna go back on birth control or have my appointment next week. At least I'm gonna do it until he gets his vasectomy because I'm just not gonna risk it having another baby. I just don't want to bring a baby that I don't want to or not ready to have. So it's just the smart thing and the mature thing to do in our opinion is just for me. <clears throat> just to get on birth control until he is able to get that appointment to get the vasectomy because yeah so we finally took that decision even though i didn't want to i was like i don't want to go back on birth control i was like i just don't want all those like hormones and all that so i ended up i'm gonna be getting on birth control next week i'm gonna be doing the iud the non-hormonal one which is a 12 year one that was just the easiest one because I don't have to think about it. I don't have to remember to take anything. And it's the only one that doesn't make me gain weight because I've tried the, the one that goes here. But that one made me gain 20 pounds. I've tried the pills. Um, they just make me super moody. I've tried the shot. Also makes me gain weight. The only one that I was okay with was the Morena. I used to have the Morena with, back in the day. But I just didn't like the hormones so i'm gonna try the non-hormonal iud this time so it's also good for 12 years so i'm gonna try it out mm. if you like it let me know in the comments if you guys do have the marina if you like it not the marina if you have the iud the non-hormonal the 12 year one let me know if you have it i just i'm already thinking about it how they put it on and i'm like <laughs> i'm not ready for that because it is so uncomfortable and it's I'm not gonna lie a little bit painful which the pain doesn't last for too long but it's just like the procedure to put it on i'm like why don't we girls have to go through this my husband was more than willing to but no y pues i'm gonna try to get back on things guys un día a la vez como se dice todo es un día a la vez just staying positive you know because I get overwhelmed with a lot of stuff because I have to cook, I have to clean, I have the kids. 
and I know my husband does a lot too because he he's a provider and he works but I'm also a provider too because I'm also working but I'm also having the kids I have to cook I have to clean and I have the work overload with my manager trying to get me to do deadlines and it just becomes a lot sometimes where I feel like <sighs> it's a lot you know and Cabo was a little bit of a refresher, but I was also on work mode when I was in Cabo. I was creating a lot of content and I was posting and I was doing stuff where my mind would, couldn't just relax, you know. But it was nice little getaway and I told Joseph I want to go somewhere like, I feel like I need like a cabin trip or I need like like a small town vibes trip. Like just like for two days, I just want to go and I want to disconnect. I want to just sit by the lake or like in a cabin and do nothing because the like last couple of vacations have been awesome that we've been doing but we did New York and we did um, uh, Cancun and we did um, the cruise and all those things that you guys saw but they're all very like let's go do stuff let's party let's drink let's um, you know go sightsee and they're not very relaxing they are great experiences without relaxing if anything you come back more tired but i feel like i need a trip where i do nothing but just like lay in bed read a book take a bath and not worry about creating content type of thing not worrying about like going out or getting ready like just chilling mode like i need like a camping trip or i'll go bien relax uh i want to do something like that siento que necesito como un super super relaxing mini vacay maybe just me by myself <laughs> or me and joseph but i don't know let me know what you guys recommend but i quiero dejar este videito Hablen conmigo en los comentarios, hay que platicar, cuéntenme de sus vidas, de cómo les va. Quiero saber, quiero platicar con ustedes y pues ya saben que aquí estoy. You guys could talk to me on Instagram or TikTok or DMs. I'm pretty good at answering messages. So yeah, just letting you guys know. Don't forget to like this video and be subscribed to our channel because we're going to get back in it, girl. I just needed a little break. <laughs>